biohacking, performance, mastery, mindset, holistic health. This is a show about getting better every single day. I'm on a mission, guys, to help over a million people get healthy and lose weight. Why? Because when you lose weight and get healthy, you have higher self-esteem. You have more self-confidence. And that person goes out and crushes their goal and starts living the highest version of themselves. And then they have way more impact on the world. What's up? What's up? What's up, guys? Happy Friday. I am super excited for today's episode. I'm going to talk to you. We're going to get into this miracle uh not molecule, a miracle supplement, I guess you could say, called Tutka that I don't think is very well known. We're going to talk about how it actually can help with weight loss, insulin resistance, and I think it can be a key factor. This thing is actually really known for really healing liver and beta cells. Um, it, it's really phenomenal what it can do. And I, I started geeking out on going through all of the studies, and I started learning about how it affects protein folding. So anyways, we're going to jump into that. First thing, I want to make a quick announcement. Um, you know, I am super excited. I just partnered with a company called B1G1, and it stands for buy one, get one. And here's the deal. I want to be giving back in a big way automatically, and I want to continue to give back. My life has been so fortunate, and I've had um, so many good things happen to me. I want to look for ways to give back. And so if you get anything out of this podcast or you enjoy the podcast, please go to Apple and leave me a five-star review and just write something down. Get, leave me a comment because every comment I get and every review, I am going to start donating on a regular basis. For every podcast review I get, I'm going to start donating to some services out in um, – Nicaragua and uh, making sure that they can have healthy water. There's 59% of the people actually I found out have access to basic and like safely managed water service. And so just imagine, I think I'm very uh, bullish when it comes to having good water. I've talked a lot about it on the podcast and I want to look for ways to give back. And I'm looking at different, um, uh, organizations and communities that I can, you know, automatically give to and, and make that a reoccurring thing because I believe in it. The more you give, the more you get back. And it's just, it's just an amazing thing. So if I can do that through the vehicle of my podcast, what an amazing thing we can do and we can be a part of and do together. So please go leave me a five-star review on the podcast, the Hacked Life podcast, and I will be donating for every, every review. So let's talk about Tutka and how it can affect weight loss and insulin resistance. Now, Here's the thing. Um, I've learned uh, there's Tutka for the way I've actually first discovered Tutka was think it's a bile salt. It, it helps move the bile. And in many women, especially, we see women with estrogen dominance. And when they have estrogen dominance, guess what? They usually end up bloated. Their lymph system is like clogged. And they tend to retain a lot of water and they have difficulty losing weight. So it affects their hormones and it all starts with a sluggish bile. So many women I've worked with too, guess what? Don't have a gallbladder. How crazy is that? So you're starting to notice how these things add up. Now, listen, what a lot of people have come to believe is when they, they can get a lot of bloating and digestive issues. And so what a lot of people will say is, hey, take digestive enzymes or take um, – take something to increase stomach acid, such as betaine HCL, because we want to increase the stomach acid so we can break down those foods. But that's a great hack. And I've used that uh, many times in my practice and it works. I'm not going to say it doesn't, but what is the root cause of why you don't have enough stomach acid in the first place? And one of the causes could be the fact that your bile is sluggish and not releasing enough bile. And if it's not releasing enough bile, then you're not going to get enough stomach acid. And if you don't get enough stomach acid, guess what? Your food is going to ferment in your belly and putrefy, and you are going to develop things like SIBO or something like that, right? And that would be terrible. That's small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. And that we see in a lot of folks. And I've, I've worked with clients that have that and they, they have constant bloating. They can they might even have some like pain, no matter what they eat, no matter what kind of diet they have, they've got this constant bloating. So it's a really cool, um, so again, going to root cause things, and that's the way I like to look at things. Let's go to the root cause. How can we get the bile to, um, to be stimulated, to actually release more bile because it's just not for some reason. Well, Tutka can be a very good supplement, and that's the way I think about it. And it also has got some robust data of how, again, it, it's helped heal liver cells, heal kidney cells. And so I think it's a really uh, great supplement for just all of those things. 
Then I started going deep and I'm like, whoa, this actually could help with weight loss and insulin resistance. So that's what we're going to talk about a little bit today. Here's the deal. There's several studies. I'm just going to highlight some of them and the ones that I read through because there's, there's just tons out there if you look up Tutka. Um, here's one of the studies. Several reports confirm the ability of Tutka to improve hyperglycemia associated with both uh, type, type diabetes. Now, the treatment of diabetic mice with the compounds resulted in the normalization of hyperglycemia, restoration of systemic insulin sensitivity. Now, we know, again, when we have those high excursions of insulin, right, or blood glucose, that is when people are, our hormones get affected and they're just unable to lose weight. And there's a lot of metabolic issues when insulin is con chronically high, right? And then you have insulin resistance because your body is just not getting the signal and it's resistant to uh, managing insulin correctly. So uh, the resolution of fatty liver disease, how many people do you know have that, right? And the enhancement of insulin action in the liver, muscle, and adipose tissue. So there you go. Uh, that's one of the studies. Uh, Tutka improves systemic glucose homeostasis in animals placed on a high fat diet. So this was one actually that was interesting too. Uh, they, there was a they were looking at thyroid production as well and the expression in these mice specifically. And what they found is that Tutka increased the expression and activity of T3 production. Again, how many times have we, I know I have, and there's a lot of you out there that have thyroid issues and your metabolism has slowed down or you, you've, um, you just, you just, you just can't seem to lose weight or you get stuck. And a lot of times it comes, we, we know that there's the hypothalamus with, which regulates that metabolism is connected to the thyroid. And that is a huge issue. And so how cool is it that actually Tutka can be a vehicle for helping stimulate T3 production, which then here's some of the neat stuff that it actually had an effect on brown adipose tissue. I've mentioned and we've talked about brown adipose tissue because it is there's not that much brown adipose tissue in the body. It is the brown fat. It is the most mitochondrial dense fat. You want to have more of the brown fat than you do of the white fat, which is that visceral belly fat, which is usually the fat that is toxic and is, uh, you know, causing uh, ob obesity and uh, metabolic disorders. And so Tutka has lowered it lowered the respiratory quotient and doubled brown adipose tissue. Now you, I just did a recent podcast with Kristen Wetzel. We were talking about brown adipose tissue and cold therapy and how it is so beneficial for body recomposition. And so that is a way the, here's the way you want to think about it is you brown adipose tissue. If you can increase that, it's more mitochondrial dense. It has more mitochondria. The more mitochondria you have, the more energy and the more you can burn. So that's a really good thing to have. Um, it also helped normalize glucose intolerance in this study with folks that were in high fat feeding. So another neat study. They looked a lot, and a lot of the studies I looked at, it talked about endo, um, endothelial reticulum stress. Basically, like they were putting the body under cell stress, and they wanted to see what would happen. And they, one of the cool studies they actually did was uh, with babies uh, that were going to be born to uh, obese mothers. And they wanted to see, can Tutka have any effect on basically preventing genetic uh, obesity, essentially, you know, that transfer of, of, of gestational diabetes or the continuation of obesity in other, in the offspring. And so they found that this, that it actually relieves stress from the endothelium. So from the cell stress and it improved their metabolic and neurodevelopmental deficits and reversed leptin resistance. I did a podcast in the past. You go back to the Hack Life podcast, look for the podcast I did on leptin resistance and some strategies that you might have. But leptin is comes from the Greek word leptos, which means satiety. And so that is our satiety hormone. With a lot of people that are overweight, that satiety hormone is broken. And so they are constantly hungry. They feel hungry. It's a, it's a, it's a hormone that is making them feel hungry. So if you can regulate that, and when we look at long-term weight loss, it's leptin and ghrelin. Ghrelin is the hunger hormone. Those two are out of whack. And that becomes a problem for people with long-term weight loss because they just, even if they lose a lot of weight, their leptin levels might still be high and be causing them to have cravings and overeat. And so if you can regulate this, how beneficial is that? 
for anybody that is also watching live, I'm, I'm streaming on YouTube, Facebook, and uh, I guess that's it, and TikTok. So I'm seeing some questions coming through. My son is liver cancer survivor. What, what did you say about uh, renewing liver cells? Yeah. So a great question coming in off of TikTok. Um, go check out. I mean, um, if you want, shoot me an email, info at joelevancoaching.com. Or shoot me a DM on Instagram at Joel Evan Coaching. I made it really simple. So either one is a great spot. And I'm happy to send you some of the studies with Tutka. But Tutka is really beneficial for the liver, regrowing liver and beta cells in the body. That beta cells will be in the pancreas, but um, really, really good with that and for fatty liver as well. So um, I'm happy to send you some of the studies if you want to learn more. Also, if I, you know, I didn't mention this. Um, you can probably get Tut. Well, I don't know where you you can get Tutka on Amazon. You can get Tutka anywhere. Uh, I work with a functional medicine grade brand, so it's uh, really really good stuff uh, using carbon technology. And I can get into that more. But if you want access to that, you have to have a practitioner that refers you. I'm happy to send people to this brand. I'm I'm so excited. It's only been around for four to five years, but it's a really uh, they're they're one of the top brands. That, out there and they're not, they're, they're starting to become more, more well-known and it's because of the carbon technology. Basically it, it allows the body to, it allows to go, the supplements to go systemic really. So it can be more utilized in the body and they're just really high grade. So low pH, typically high conductivity, meaning high energy, right? And, um, we could go on and on, but I, I have a really good brand. It, it's, it's a little pricey, I think for a bottle of Tutka, um, and it would, depending how you use it, it could last you though, 30 to 60 days. So, um, anyways, really good stuff. I, uh, I, I really believe in, in this based on the studies. I mean, it, it shows. So, um, there's another study that they use Tutka treatment for abdominal fat storage, uh, serum insulin level. And what they did is they saw that, um, and, and they're, I'm, I'm going through the data, so I'm trying to read it, but it, uh, it, they're using like all this Kappa B9 overexpression. Nobody wants to hear that. But so basically what they found is the results of this study show that it can protect, like I said, beta, a pancreatic beta cell survival from endoreticulum stress, from cell stress. So they're putting, they're putting the, the researchers were putting cell stress on the body and they wanted to see what could Tutka do. It relieved a lot of that stress. It can, it helped regulate glucose uh, homeostasis and, um, and then that helped reduce the risk of type one di diabetes. So how many people do you know have type one diabetes? I mean, this could be a, uh, a helpful uh, vehicle for helping them. I can't use the word uh, cure, treat, or anything like that for disease. Um, people are asking how to spell Tutka. It's T U D C A. Okay. Um, T U D C A. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, by the way, the, uh, some of the people that are on TikTok, you don't know, but I, I do have a podcast called The Hacked Life Podcast. And um, uh, we've got over 160 episodes of expert interviews and some solo episodes of me. Go check it out. I mean, this episode, if you can't watch it all live, I'm actually going to, uh, it'll be uploaded um, today. So for anybody that uh, didn't know that, you can check me out on YouTube and you can check it. These episodes will be released on all the major podcast um, channels. So a couple, um, a couple more things. I don't want to wrap it up. I like to keep every Friday, I like to do these health hack Fridays and I just like to go kind of geek out on something like this, a supplement or an herb or something, and then just give that to you because, you know, people here like this is great on, on TikTok are reaching out. And it's like, what if this one thing could be a driver to help you get your health better? And, and not necessarily like this one thing is, I don't think anybody can hack their way through life because you need to have mastery. You have to develop systems and protocols, but this one thing could be a, a, a driver for what is going to be in the future. And I, that's what I'm all about. So last two studies, and then we'll wrap things up. Uh, Tutka, may be helpful to counteract obesity induced hyperinsulinemia through increasing insulin uh, clearance. So this is actually a really cool study. They purposely made the rats insulin resistant and they did the study for over 24 days. But what they found was in the first 15 days of treatment with Tutka, it reestablished plasma insulin to physiological concentrations from a high fat diet. So that's pretty cool. These results indicate Tutka may be helpful to counteract obesity induced hyperinsulinemia through uh, in increasing insulin clearance. Again, we talk about insulin resistance and when there's too much insulin, what happens, right? Uh, your, your body gets the, it doesn't, it doesn't, um, it's not getting the signal. The signal's not registering. And so 
it, it's your your body. It's like the James Fung, Dr. James Fung, who's an insulin and obesity researcher and diabetic a diabetes researcher. He talks about like that lock and key, and uh, insulin basically cannot lock on because it's just there's just so much there's an overabundance of it, and the the, the lock and key system is broken. So um, it can help with that. It can help through and uh, this you're gonna love this the, the the mom on TikTok you're gonna love this. It can help through enhanced liver. Um, basically enzyme expression. Okay. So that's pretty neat. And they also, another study uh, that I don't want to leave out in for six weeks, the study they took Tatka, it reduced blood pressure. Huge. I mean, again, when we look at uh, metabolic disorders, blood pressure, high cholesterol, all these things are, are usually really high. And so it helped with blood pressure. Uh, endo reticulum and oxidative stress, um, as well as um, helping anybody with hypertensive diabetic kidneys. So again, we talked about I talked about kidneys, pancreatic cell, pancreatic beta cells, as well as liver. Huge. Um, and then the last one I'm going to talk to you about is Tutka was found to help regulate fatty acid breakdown and also to help regulate insulin resistance. They, they administered this to obese mice and it reduced body weight, blood glucose, insulin, insulin sensitivity, um, and insulin resistance. The neat thing too, about this one that I really highlighted that for me was it, it reversed the suppression of adiponectin. Adiponectin is a really powerful um, pathway and expression pathway in the body that helps with the, um, with basically reducing body fat and using fat for energy. And so it helped reverse that suppression, which was suppressed from obesity. And so I thought that was really nice. It increased the expression of adiponectin, improved insulin resistance, which makes sense. And, um, that I think is, is really, really neat. So long story short, guys, you think you should be adding Tutka to your, uh, your routine. Maybe, um, if you're a woman, especially again, when I see anybody with gallbladder issues, if you have gallbladder issues or you're constipated constantly, or you're just having digestion issues and you're making low stomach acid, this could be a really good thing to get you started. And then of course, anybody that's looking for the metabolic, um, health aspects, obviously I've just giving you a whole bunch of studies. And there's actually more than that. I just try to highlight the ones that I thought were really um, robust and really neat. I mean, they're all pretty robust, but very cool stuff, what they're doing with, with Tutka. And uh, again, I've seen it really work well for stimulating the bile and healing liver, kidney, pancreatic beta cells. I, I wasn't aware of all the weight loss and insulin resistance uh, type of effects that it had on it. So I was very happy to see that. So I hope this episode was helpful for you guys. If again, just a reminder, go check out the podcast. This is the, the for those on TikTok, they don't even know, but a lot of them don't know, but this is, this is going to be recorded as a podcast. Go to the hack life podcast. I'm on all the major channels, uh, YouTube, Spotify, uh, iTunes, and leave a, leave a review, leave a five-star review. Every review I'm going to be donating to, uh, helping those in Nicaragua right now, um, and, and, and having, having water, having sustainable water practices, water is, you know, you, they, they say like, you, you can't, you can live without food, but you can't live without water and air. Right. So super, super important stuff. Have an amazing blessed Friday. I hope this was helpful. If you have any more questions on this topic, or you want to get to your, the root cause of some of your health issues and, and obesity issues, I'm, I'm really, um, really good with gut health and uh, metabolic issues. And so if you're looking to get to those root cause issues, reach out to me info at joelevencoaching.com or uh, shoot me a DM on Instagram at joelevencoaching. I'm, I'm there a lot and uh, I'm happy to help and connect with you guys there. Have an amazing Friday, guys, an amazing weekend. I'm out.